Hello, I'm Marika Hackman, uh, and I'm a musician from London. When did you start making music? Um, I mean, I, I learned the piano when I was like really small, like four, um, and I, I kind of, my instinct was always to write like straight away, so I kind of started as soon as I could, as soon as an instrument was put in front of me, I, I started to write, but I think when I learned the guitar when I was about 14 was when I really started to actually write fully formed songs. Who did you listen to growing up? Uh, oh, loads of stuff really. Like my, my parents would play lots of great things like Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd, Steely Dan, Stevie Wonder, Joni Mitchell, um, just like a whole spread of just fantastic songwriters. Um, and then I had stuff that my brother was listening to. So that's kind of how I started listening to bands like Nirvana. Um, and then I kind of clocked onto stuff like The Shins um, and Laura Veers and Beach House and stuff like that when I was kind of in my teenage years. So those kind of three different stages, I think, informed where I am now. Who would you say influences you the most? Mm, that's a, t a tough one. Um, I always find it very hard to kind of work out who or what influences me, just because, like I said, it's something that I've always done. Um, so I get, I mean, I suppose I get inspired by things that I'm listening to, um, that I kind of think I'd love to make a record like that. But I think in terms of just like my aims in life, which are just to kind of be sane and happy, um, it's probably just, you know, my family and my friends all being a great support network around me and, and keeping me, keeping me that way. <laughs> How did you decide that this is what you wanted to do? Um... I think I think I always knew it was what I wanted to do, but I I didn't really think it would be possible. Um, so I kind of I was trying out other stuff. I was going to do a degree in art, um, in fine art. But when I was maybe nineteen, I kind of that's when I took the jump and made the risk and everything like that. So like I was supposed to go and do my art degree um, and then I decided to not go and to see what happened with music and then I've been doing it since then so it's been like six years now of, of being in the industry so 19 was probably that pivotal point. You had once described your songs as grungy abstract folk with a playful darkness <laughs> which is a fun combination of words how yeah. might you describe them now? Uh, well I would probably take out folk Bizarrely, people are still trying to put folk on songs like Boyfriend and stuff like that, which is just, I find really strange. Um, so I think it's, yeah, there's, it's grungy, it's still playful, it's tongue-in-cheek, um, and it's fun, I think. It's dark as well, but it's, it's, it's fun. It's got a real sense of fun, and a kind of, you can hear how much fun we were having in the recording process, I think. And that was my, always my aim, to kind of capture that energy that we had. Which instruments do you most enjoy playing and which ones serve you best creatively? Um, I enjoy playing, oh it's a toss up between the bass or the drums. Um, that's really hard. Probably I find the drums slightly more intimidating but they are more fun to play I think. Um, and then creatively, well up to this point it's always been the guitar really. Um, just because I always write on the guitar, but I've actually been writing a lot more on the bass recently So for the next record it might be a case of it being the bass, but we'll see How do you feel about playing instruments yourself as opposed to playing with other musicians? Um, I mean they both have worked for me. So for the first record it was all me playing everything on my own and then this this one was um, with a band and they're very, it's a very different experience um, it's certainly a lot more fun involving more people, um, but then you have to kind of do all the prep work a lot earlier. Um, and I like I like playing around on instruments, um, especially ones that I can't play because it's kind of like I don't know. You come up with stuff that is just weird and isn't really what the instrument should be doing. So I like that. I like that sense of playfulness and kind of working out what you're going to do with this thing that's just been put in front of you. So I really enjoy that. Um, but yeah, I think actually recording with a band has been really, really enjoyable. Who would you most like to collaborate with and why? Um, I think in my mind at the moment, my dream combo would be um, together, so all three of us, 
uh, Kevin Parker and Stella from Warpaint um, and try and see what we could do there. I just think it'd be really fun <laughs> and really great. <laughs> How did the collaboration with Tristan Pickett for your album art come about? Um, so I met him when I was maybe 16, 17. Uh, he was just a friend of a friend. Um, and it's funny because I only really met him that one time, maybe a couple of, like very, but very briefly, like I didn't know him that well. But I followed his artwork just because I'm a really big fan. And, um, and then I kept bumping into him in London, sort of, you know, this is like last year now or two years ago. Um, he like, lived near me. We bumped into each other quite a lot. And um, I was in the process of writing I'm Not Your Man and I was looking through all of his stuff that he's got online and just thought it'd be amazing if he could paint me an album cover. So I asked him if he'd do that and I don't, he, I don't think he'd done, I think he'd always wanted to do an album cover but no, he hadn't done one yet. Um, and he said yes and then we just kind of worked together um, in coming up with the concept and, and the kind of the references and things that are on there. And then he did three months of incredible genius painting and then there's the big unveiling which was amazing so, yeah. what are your interests and passions outside of music um, I really like cooking um, <laughs> sorry, my girlfriend's laughing at me over why are you laughing at me I cook for you all the time <laughs> I just I thought I don't know well it I should be something a bit more me. bookish <laughs> what <Well>, you <laughs> Ignore her. Um, yeah, so I like I love cooking. I love um, I find it really relaxing. It's kind of my winding down um, because it's the, the perfect combination of like logic and creativity. So there's like with writing music, you're kind of just pulling stuff out of nowhere. You know, there's no like starting point. You just sit down and kind of hope that a song's going to come come from somewhere. Whereas when I'm cooking, it's like I know exactly what I'm doing. There's science involved in it. But I can also still kind of play around and make things probably taste much worse than they should. Um, <laughs> yeah, and also just like chopping, I find really enjoyable. <laughs> so, so that sounds a bit psychotic, doesn't it? <laughs> what are your favourite books, film and music right now? Um, so I just finished The Little Friend by Donna Tartt, um, which um, I'm a huge fan of her books, The Secret History and The Goldfinch are like two of my favourite books and so I read this one on the tour I've just finished and again just blew me away I, I just love the way she writes I think it's genius and the descriptive the descriptive paragraphs and stuff are just so beautifully done um, so yeah that's very inspiring um, and then what was it books what, I, what was film. it film film um, let me think I've been a lot of plain films recently um, like cheesy stuff that makes me cry when I'm at high altitude uh, well, I watched on the plane coming out. I'd, I'd only ever seen like Pulp Fiction in, in sections, and I watched that on that. I flew out to LA kind of three weeks ago just to start a tour, um, and it's really great. I love Tarantino, but then I also got really scared because I was staying in a motel just like on my own that night, and I kind of just started having all these horrible thoughts about someone bursting in with like a shotgun and a gimp. But um, yeah, <laughs> but it was really good. Um, and then. Music-wise, um, trying to think. I mean, I'm really bad at listening to lots of music. Um, I, I, it's not really I, how I spend my time because I find there's so much noise constantly around anyway. Um, but I, in the van recently, what was I listening to? Um, well, I listened to um, some Gillian Welch which was cool because that's really good kind of driving across American music. Um, I was trying to listen to Warpaint because that's always my go-to, um, but I couldn't download any of it off the cloud. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that would have probably been what I would have listened to, yeah. 